Hello dear learners, welcome you all to today's um, audiovisual lectures of unit 2 binary operation of the course abstract algebra and discrete mathematics of the program BA mathematics second semesters. So today we will discuss uh, unit 2 binary operations. This is the third uh, lecture of the course uh, abstract algebra and discrete mathematics. So last two lectures we have already discussed uh, relations and functions and there are various properties and we also discuss uh, various examples of relations and functions. So today we will discuss unit 2 binary operations. First we will define what is binary operations, then we discuss various uh, properties of binary operations and we will also discuss uh, examples related to binary operations and their properties. So let us uh, discuss uh, this unit 2. So now we start uh, today's uh, lecture on the topic binary person. So in this lecture, uh, we will discuss first what is binary person. So first we define binary person. Then we discuss various properties of binary operation. So let us define um, what is binary operations. So we uh, all know that there are four basic arithmetic operations, addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. So these four binary operations already we know. So to begin with the concept, uh, we consider an example involving the basic arithmetic operations addition and multiplication of any two natural numbers. Suppose here m and n belongs to natural number. m and n any natural any two natural numbers. So if we add two natural numbers the result will be again a natural number. So m plus n belongs to n and Similarly, um, their multiplication also belongs to n. So from these um, two operations, addition and multiplication, we observe the following uh, results. Here you see at a time exactly two num elements of n are processed. There are two elements m and n and resulting element is also an element of n. Here m plus n belongs to n and m multiply n is also belongs to n. Suppose if we consider m is equal to 3, n is equal to 4. Then 3 plus 4 belongs to n and 3 into 4 it is 12 also belongs to n. So their results is also belongs to n. So now we define binary operations. Here a binary operation is star on a non-empty set S is a function from S cross S cross S to S. Here a star we define is a function. Already we discussed what is a function. So a star is a function star is a function from s into s to s yeah, this is a function and this function is defined as star hmm? so a binary person is also a function from s cross s if we consider any two elements from this set their result will be a star b. This also belongs to S. So here image A B here belongs to S cross S under function star is defined this. Star A B is also defined as this way. Star A B. So star is a binary person on set S. If A star B belongs to S for all A B belongs to S. Here if we consider any two elements from S cross S, 
So result will be a star b also belongs to s. So then we call that a star is a binary operation on set s. If we consider any two elements from this set s cross s, the result will be a star b. So this will be suppose c element c. So c also belongs to s. Then a star will be a binary operation. Here you see a star is just a symbol which may be addition, multiplication, subtraction, division, it may be matrix addition and matrix multiplication depending on the set which it is defined. So star is just a symbol and star represents these operations, addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, matrix addition, matrix multiplication. So here addition and subtract, uh, multiplication or binary operation n, if we consider one example, suppose addition and subtraction are binary operation on n, but subtraction is not a binary operation. Why? Why subtraction is not a binary operation? So addition and multiplication are binary operation on n, natural number, but subtraction is not binary operation. To verify this result, we consider one example. Suppose uh, we consider 5, 6 belongs to n cross n. Suppose from this set n, n cross n, from this set we consider one element 5, 6. Your subtraction is a binary person. So subtraction is a binary person on n. Subtraction is not a binary person on n. To verify this result we consider one example. 5, 6 belongs to n cross n but 5 actually this uh, this is 3, 4, 3, 4, so, so 3 minus 4 is equal to minus 1, so this not belongs to this n, so this does not belong to n, so therefore subtraction is not binary person. 3 minus 4 is equal to minus 1, so minus 1 does not belong to n, so subtraction is not a binary operation. So therefore, this condition is not valid in, in case of subtraction. So now, um, we observe this table here, in this direction there are number system and in, in this direction there are operations, there are four operations addition, subtraction, multiplication and division and here they are, we consider this number system, natural number, set of integers, rational number, R, real number, C, complex number, Q, subtract this non-zero rational number, this is non-zero real number. So for addition, addition is when you person on N, Z, Q, R, C, but addition is not binary operation on this set, non-zero real number and similarly non-zero, in case of non-zero real number addition is not binary operation. Similarly subtraction is not binary operation on n, but subtraction is binary operation on z, q, r, c, but not binary operation on non-zero rational number and non-zero real numbers. Similarly multiplication is binary operation on n, z, q, r, c, non-zero rational number, also non-zero real number. And division is not binary operation on natural number, not integer z, not rational number, not real number, not complex number, but binary operation on this set of non-zero rational number and set of non-zero real numbers.
these are the four binary operations on different number systems. So, so in case of some number system, these are binary system and some number system, some operation are not binary operations. So here are some ex uh, examples of binary operations already we discussed in the table. So addition is binary operation in N, subtraction is not binary operation on N, multiplication is binary operation on N, addition is binary operation on Z, addition is not binary operation on Z, S, S is equal to Z minus 0, this means Z of non-zero integers, non-zero integers. Subtraction is not binary person on, uh, is a binary person on Z. So another example, S beta collection of real um, matrices, matrix addition is not binary person on S. So we cannot find sum of 2 cross 3 matrix and a 3 cross 4 matrix. Similarly, this is another example. If M be the collection of all M, all M cross N real numbers, so matrix addition is binary operation on this set. Similarly, M be the all N cross N real matrices, then matrix multiplication is a binary operation on this matrix in this set. So addition and also multiplication is a binary operation on the set of C complex number. Now there is a formula. Mm, how can we find number of binary operations on a finite set? So this is a standard formula. If we consider two sets of finite sets, number of elements of M is M, number of elements of B is N, the number of functions this number of functions may be binary, number of binary person. From A cross B is n to the bar M. Suppose number of elements of a set is 3, number of elements of B is 2, the number of binary operations will be is equal to 2 to the power 3 means 8. So there are 8 binary person on from A to B. Next there is a uh, person table or this is also called composition table. If A is a finite sheet the number of elements of S B is small, then we can construct a table known as operational comp composition table. So, in the next uh, in a, a discussion of uh, questions, some questions will discuss a composition table. We give an example of a composition table. How can we find uh, whether a operation is binary person or not with the help of composition? So now we discuss uh, various properties of a binary operation. So first properties is commutative property. Any operation is star defined on a non-empty set. S is said to be commutative if this condition is satisfied. Means A star B is equal to B star A. For all elements, A, B belongs to the given set. So next property is associative property. So any binary operation is star defined on a set S is said to be satisfied the associative property if this, this condition is satisfied. Bracket A star B star c is equal to a star b bracket b star c for all elements a b c belongs to the given set s the next property is existence of identity element existence of identity element 
Suppose we consider a set S. S be a non-empty set equipped with a binary operation star. An element E belongs to S is called an identity, identity element for if a star e is equal to a is equal to e star e for all a belongs to the given set s if this condition is satisfied then e is called the identity element of the set s under the binary operation star the identity element of a binary operation if it exists is unique there is only one binary uh, identity element in a binary operation on a set here now we consider some examples how can we find identity element of a binary operation on a set suppose multiplication we know multiplication is a binary operation on n then there exists one belongs to n such that a into one here, a into 1 is equal to a is equal to 1 into a. For any element belongs to n. Suppose, 3 suppose. So, 3 into 1 is equal to 3 to 1 into 3. For any element, this condition is satisfied. Suppose, 10 into 1 is equal to 10 is equal to 1 into 10. So, for any elements of natural number, if we consider 1, then this condition is satisfied. So, therefore, 1 is an identity element of a binary person multiplication on the set n natural number, set of natural number. So, 1 is the identity element of mul for multiplication in n. Similarly, we consider another example 2, 3, and 4. Here, 2 you see addition is. Binary operation on n, so there exists 0 belongs to z such that a plus 0 is equal to a plus 0 plus a for all a belongs to z. Here 3 plus 0 is equal to 3 is equal to 0 plus 3. For any set of integers, any element from the set of integers. So, this condition is satisfied. So, therefore, 0 will be the identity element for addition in Z. So, 0 is also called additive identity. So, addition is binary operation on N, but there does not exist identity element for addition in N because for any element of from the set of integers, this condition is not satisfied for addition. Similarly, matrix multiplication is a binary operation on this set M, set of all M cross N matrices, the set of all M cross matrices, the M cross N null matrix, 0 is the identity element for matrix addition. So, for matrix multiplication, uh, set null matrix is the identity element for matrix addition on this set M, set of all M cross N real numbers. So, next uh, next property is existence of inverse of an element. Existence of inverse. So, let S be a non empty set equipped with a binary person star and with identity element E star is a binary person on set S and E is the identity element, then an element B belongs to S is called an inverse element of A under star if this condition is satisfied. A star B is equal to E and B star A, then B is the inverse of A. If inverse of an element under a binary person, if it exists, is a unique. So there is only one inverse element of a binary person. So now we discuss examples of an inverse element of a binary person. 
So we know that binary multiplication is a binary operation on n, and one belongs to n is the identity element for multiplication. But no element of a except one possesses inverse under multiplication on n. No element of n except one possesses inverse under multiplication of n. Similarly, addition is a binary operation on z, and 0 is the identity element for addition. So, for every a belongs to a, there exists minus a belongs to z, such that this condition is satisfied for any element of z, then minus a is the inverse of a under addition. Suppose uh, 3 is a element of z, and minus 3 is also element of z, then 3 plus minus 3 is equal to 0. Similarly, minus 3 plus 3 is equal to 0. So, this condition is satisfied for uh, binary person addition, for binary person addition on z. So, therefore, minus 3 is the inverse of 3. Inverse of 3. So, this minus 3 is also called additive inverse because operation is addition. So, learner can also uh, um, follow these uh, books for better understanding of this chapter. So, these are some reference books. So, with the help of this reference, you can understand this concept with the some um, various examples from this book you can consider. So, now we we'll discuss some questions. So, example 1, here operation A star is defined by this A star B is equal to A minus B plus 10. We have to find whether this operation is binary or not. So, here A comma B belongs to Z. So, Z is a set of integers. So, clearly A minus B plus 10 also belongs to Z because subtraction any of any two numbers also belongs to z and addition is also binary person on z so therefore a minus b plus 10 is belongs to z for all a b belongs to z so therefore obviously a star b is equal to a minus b plus 10 so clearly a minus b plus 10 belongs to z so obviously a star b belongs to z for any elements of a b belongs to z so this star is a binary operation on z so another example here a person star is defined by a star b is equal to a b by 5 so now we we find whether star is binary person or not on q q is the set of rational numbers so since a b belongs to q, obviously their multiplication also belongs to q. So product of any two rational number is also a rational number. So and a b by a b by five also belongs to q, set of rational number. So here a star b is equal to a b a b by five. So therefore obviously a star b belongs to q for any elements of a B belongs to Q. So, it starts a binary operation on Q. You can take any two numbers, suppose 3, 4 belongs to Q. Obviously, 3 into 4, 12 belongs to Q. And 12 by 5 also belongs to Q. So, this way we can um, we can um, prove that this uh, a star b is equal to a b by 5 is a binary operation on next example 3 
there um, we have to find whether multiplication is a binary operation on the set this set minus 1 the set consisting the elements minus 1 0 1 so uh, now we put this result with the help of a composition table or operation table here um, here you see uh, the elements of the set we uh, put in horizontally and vertically minus 1 0 1 and vertically minus 1 0 1 now here this cell the outcome of this results you see minus 1 into 1 minus 1 into minus 1 is 1 we put here minus 1 to 0 0 minus 1 into 1 minus 1 0 into minus 1 0 0 into 0 0 0 into 1 0 1 into minus 1 minus 1 1 into 0 0 1 into 1 1 you see the, all these nine elements also belongs to this set each of the nine entries also belongs to e so all since all the elements belongs to this set so therefore multiplication is a binary operation on this set if the set consisting a small number of elements then we can apply this table which is called operation table or composition table next example example 4 here star is a binary operation defined by this e star b is equal to a minus b plus 5 so now we check this operation for commutative whether it is commutative or not we check commutative property of for this result so we have this result a star b is equal to a minus b plus 5 so obviously b star a is also b minus a plus 5 for all a b belongs to z you see this a star b not is equal to b star a so clearly this a star b not is equal to b star a for commutative the result is a star b is equal to b star a for all elements of a b for any set so here a star b not is equal to b star a so a star is not commutative here is star is defined by this same result actually same for uh, same exam same result of example 4 um, the operation is same a star b is equal to a star b is equal to a minus b plus 5 so now we check associative property for this binary operation so for um, associative property already we define associative property for associative property we have to prove these results if this result is satisfied then star will be associated so first um, we say left hand side part bracket a star b is equal to bracket a star b star c is equal to this here a star b is defined by a minus b plus 5 so in place of this we put this result then star c again for these two elements again we mm, apply these results so in this case now a will be this element a minus b plus 5 and b will be c so accordingly we put this elements in this result so a minus bracket a minus b plus 5 minus c plus c so a minus b minus c plus 10 after simplification we get this result now we find right hand side part so a star bracket b star c a star 
so um, we apply this result here a means b and b means c so accordingly we put this result b minus c plus 5 so again we apply this result then we get here a means a and b means this result b minus c plus 5 so we put here after simplification we get this you see the result of left hand side and result of right hand side is not equal so therefore bracket a star b star c not is equal to a star bracket b star c so the associative result is not satisfied by this binary operation so let us sum up today's uh, lecture so today's lecture we discuss uh, this points uh, the binary operation we define binary operation so a binary operation on a set s is a function from s cross s to s if s is a finite set having m elements the number of binary operation on n is m to the power m square this is a square a, a binary operation star on a set is commutative if a star b is equal to b star a for all elements a b belongs to s a binary person star on a non-empty set s is associative if this condition is satisfied bracket a star b is star c is equal to a star bracket b star c for all elements a b c belongs to s also we discuss exists uh, how to find identity element of a bin uh, binary person and and an element E on a non-empty set S equivalent with a binary person is that is called identity element if for a binary person is star if A star E is equal to A is equal to E star A for all elements A belongs to S similarly we also discuss how to find inverse element of a binary person an element B in a non-empty set S equivalent to binary person star is called a inverse element of A if this condition is satisfied A star B is equal to E is equal to B star A. So these uh, concepts uh, of a binary person we discussed today's lecture. First we define what is a binary person then we also discuss various properties of binary persons. So a binary person is very important for discussing the few, uh, next uh, chapters, unit uh, 3 uh, for group theory. So this uh, concept is very important. So uh, to advanced studies of this course in this course we also dis uh, will discuss in block 2 ring field and vector space for that concept also the binary version is a very important concept for understanding these topics so hope uh, this lecture will benefit all of you so, um, with this, we end today's lecture. Thank you all.